Hi there, here's the newly launched Noise Combat Gaming Neckband. It's priced at just $1499 and I'd say it's truly one of the most unique earphones I've ever used. It's got neon blue lights inside the earbuds as well as on the body itself. And trust me, it looks really cool, especially if you're using them in the dark. Now before you get baffled, yes, you can turn them off. I did unbox them a couple of days ago and I'll just quickly take you through it. Here's some paperwork that includes the noise stickers, a warranty card and a quick user guide in English. Then we have a small USB-C cable to charge along with some silicon ear tips. And finally, the neckband itself. Alright, now that the unboxing is out of the way, I have to admit, I love neckbands. They are so convenient. I use them for music, I use them for phone calls, for gaming, or I just let them hang around my neck. It's so convenient. I'm using the word convenient so many times, but that's true, it's convenient. Now the best part about this is that they also come with a gaming mode that drastically reduces latency, which makes it perfect for gamers. So let's have a closer look at them. The neckband frame is fully made of plastic. It has this dot texture at the back, but that same back section isn't the most comfortable and it's probably because of that plastic design. Personally, I would prefer the round rubber silicon material band that we had seen on the previous noise flare. It was really, really good. Now the noise compact weighs about 44.5 grams, which is kind of heavy when you see the usual 35 to 40 grams of other neck bands. But obviously this packs in a lot more, so I guess the weight is justified. Also at 44.5 grams, you really don't feel the weight and it's very well balanced. The bottom build design gives you that gaming gadget feel and looks really nice. All the controls are towards the right, including the dual microphones for phone calls and gaming. There's also a small button on the inside to enable gaming mode. And just below that is the USB-C port to charge the neckband. Further down are the earphones with the buds design. They have LED lights inside and the build quality is pretty nice. Now they too can be attached magnetically like most earbuds do. But the best part is that they don't control the power on and off. Now there was a time I really liked that earbuds would turn on when you turn them separate and they would turn off when you put them like this. But surely after a while I realized that sometimes when you're traveling, something like this which is in your backpack and if they're separate, they connect to your phone. And your phone might be in your pocket and when you receive a call, the neckband is in your backpack which makes it extremely hard to access and it kind of gets confusing. So bottom line, I would prefer that you can control the earbuds power from the buttons itself, which is a good thing to have. Then I wore them and they provide a very good fit along with a really good seal. Just make sure that you wear the right size of ear tips. Now the pairing was super simple. Press and hold the center button for six seconds. You'll see the blue and orange light blink on the neckband. Go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone and you'll see the noise comeback name pop up. Click, then again confirm and you're done in a couple of seconds. Now, one of my favorite features of this neckband is dual pairing, which means you can pair this neckband to two phones, one phone and one laptop, or one laptop and one iPad, basically two Bluetooth devices at the same time. The benefit is that you can use it for gaming on your laptop while answering phone calls on your phone. And I have to say, it works very well. But how do we connect two devices? Well, like you saw, we connected an Android phone first, now, we go to the Bluetooth settings on that phone and we simply turn off Bluetooth. Now, we take a secondary device and for this demo, I'm using my iPhone. We go to the Bluetooth settings and you can see the noise compact show. Click and it will pair in a couple of seconds. Now, you take your primary phone and just go to the Bluetooth settings and turn on Bluetooth. Now, there you go. Two devices are simultaneously connected to the noise combat neckband. Amazing. All right, coming to the audio quality. Well, first you need to know that they come with 10mm drivers and they sound really good. Very rich audio with clear highs and very clear vocals. Now, frankly, they sound better than what you're paying for. I can vouch for that. But what about the latency for gaming? So you press the gaming button and then you see super cool blue lights on the earbuds as well as on the noise logo on both the sides. Wow, that looks really cool. Now I did play Battleground India while wearing these and I can say that there still was slight lag. But again, it was so minute that some might not even notice it. But trust me, when I say that there is a noticeable lag, doesn't mean it's that laggy. All I mean to say is that there is something which only gamers will realize that there is that hint of lag. But apart from that, it's actually really good. Also, I'd like to add that the audio latency has a lot to do with the phone you are using. 
the more powerful the phone the lesser the latency also remember gaming mode and lights do consume more battery the noise claims 25 hours of music playback at 70% volume and i actually got more because i was actually listening at a lower volume so i probably got even more time but with gaming mode it's 12 hours of battery life but the best part is that it supports quick charge 8 minutes of charge provides 8 hours of music playback that's absolutely stellar actually this is why i love using neckbands more than twc earphones the battery life just lasts forever and you don't need to keep them inside a case every time you remove them but again that's a very subjective choice bottom line the battery life is solid i also used it briefly for phone calls and the experience here too was rock solid dual microphone so clear audio both ways with no echo and no disturbance but let me tell you my phone call user experience was strictly indoors outdoors the results might vary the rest they come with ipx5 rating which means they're splash and sweat resistant so you can easily wear them at the gym or for a run now if you're a gaming enthusiast and looking for budget neckband with lots of lights and that gaming experience the noise compact is a good option to consider It's priced at just 1499 and will be going on sale tomorrow 16th of January Amazon and the Noise website. By the way there's also another neckband which I would ask you to check out the Noise Flare neckband. It provides a little better fit. It also comes with dual pairing. It sounds really good and it comes with 35 hours battery life. But it lacks that dedicated gaming mode. I've actually made a video on that too which I highly recommend you watch. I'll leave the video link with the purchase links of both the neckbands in the description. Make your call. noise combat or noise flare so this was it guys if there are any questions mention them down in the comments and i'll be happy to answer them don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time cheers